Okay, here's a big update for the channel. Uh, so I went ahead and I got a new computer just recently. It was time. I, I'd been using a Windows computer with XP on it and editing software and or the editing software on there was just so slow and uh, it was no fun to make videos anymore. So it was time to update. I needed a laptop for school and uh, I use a Mac at, at work all day so I went ahead and I got a MacBook Pro. Now I didn't get a Retina MacBook Pro and I'll let you know why. Uh, so there's several reasons why I got this MacBook Pro. It's a 2012 uh, regular Mac MacBook Pro uh, 13 inch. And this one is nice because it has the older style of uh, unibody where you can actually open it up and it is user upgradable. So I can add more RAM if I want to. I can add an SSD, I can take out the optical drive and add another SSD or another hard drive. And so this one is, is much more user upgradable than the other ones. The uh, Retina, you can't do anything to it. Uh, once you order it, once you buy it, that's it. So this one, I went ahead and I got the i7 for it, 4 gigs of RAM, uh, just a normal 500 gig hard drive for right now. Um, I plan on upgrading the RAM for under half of the cost as what it would be through Apple and also upgrading the hard drive later on to an SSD is way less than what it would have cost through Apple and I still am getting about the same performance as what I would have gotten with a newer 2013 Retina MacBook Pro so that's why I did this one um, also I like having the optical drive in case I do need to watch some movies uh, burn some DVDs, burn some CDs, things like that. Um, the Besides that, it's about the same as the Retina MacBook Pro, and I'll definitely show you guys uh, more about it. So up front, I'll start off with the IR sensor so I can use an Apple remote. It also has a little light right next to it that lets me know when it's in sleep mode. So if I have the lid closed, I can look at that light and I can see if it is uh, blinking or not. Um, so there's the uh, full-size trackpad, which is awesome. I use a Magic Mouse, and that trackpad is just about as good as a Magic Mouse, if not um, better. I, I really like that. Full-size keyboard, which is awesome. It's also backlit, which is great. So I can turn up the uh, backlighting on there. It might be pretty hard to see that right now because of the fact that um, I'm in a bright room, but you can kind of see it glowing under the keys right there right now. Um, so it's got the 13-inch screen, which is awesome. The resolution is still great on there. Definitely not a retina screen, but way better than what I was using. Um, so a huge upgrade for me. Along the side here, I've got all the different ports that I needed. So it's got the MagSafe connector for the power. It's got an Ethernet port, which is... I, I really wanted an Ethernet port in case you don't have Wi-Fi. It's got a Firewire, um, one Thunderbolt, two USB 3.0 ports, and an SD card slot, and also a microphone and headphone jack right there at the end. Um, so that is everything that I needed over there. And then on the other side, all we've got is a lock and then a the optical drive port. So that's where I would actually insert the... Um, DVD or CDs that I put in there. Uh, this model also has a dedicated power button, which I kind of like that. Um, so there you go. That is the the MacBook Pro that I got uh, for editing video and also for school. And uh, this is going to help out a lot. It'll be a lot more fun making videos, editing photos uh, with this. I already have gotten and uh, I upgraded to the Final Cut Pro, um, so I'm going to be learning how to use that. Um, and I've got a few other apps that I installed already, but uh, I just I just love how these Macs work, and it's so easy to use these trackpads. Um, they are just, it's so fluent and fast and just easy to use. Um, so that's why I went with a Mac instead of a PC. So there you go.